Well, welcome everyone. Um, I'd like to thank you all for coming this morning. This is a press conference regarding the incidents that took place yesterday evening uh, into the early morning in downtown Fort Wayne. Today we will have speaking Chief Reed from the Fort Wayne Police Department, Sheriff Gladio from the Allen County Sheriff's Department, Mayor Henry, Luther Whitfield from Fort Wayne United, Robert Bell from Pastors United, and Ira Headley from Fort Wayne United. So we'll get started with uh, Chief Reed. Again, I want to thank everyone for coming here today, uh, taking time out of your day to, uh, to be here with us. Uh, we stand here today united. We say the peaceful protests are welcome in our city. For a few hours last night, that protest was just that, peaceful. Then events took place where it turned violent. We understand the frustrations and we are troubled about the events that took place in Minneapolis. However, last night is not the answer. We will not let this happen again. 29 people were arrested last night. Going forward, we want peace in our city. We want productive conversation on how we move forward together. The city will recover and we will move on together. Again, I want to thank the Allen County Sheriff's Office, the Indiana State Police for being there with us last night and helping us control the situation. I also want to thank the Ten Point Coalition who was there with us, helping us try to control the situation. So I'd like to turn it over now to being here. Uh, I couldn't hear what he was saying, so I hope I don't repeat too much. Um, I will say that uh, great uh, collaborative effort last night with all law enforcement who was, uh, was there last night, the state police, the city of Fort Wayne, uh, our department. Um, I, I got to tell you, when I first saw it on the social media live feed, I thought to myself, these people are doing a great job. They're staying on the sidewalks and doing what they're supposed to do and doing what they're allowed to do. But then it went south very quickly, and I think that happened probably when some people from out of town showed up and started rounding up the troops. Um, so I'm not going to bash locals for doing a whole lot. I think a lot of it has to, 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 to you know, live, live with the responsibility of some of these, these people from out of town. That, that you're, literally, they go from state to state sometimes, city to city, and, and uh, they attend these groups. And, and I, I truly believe that's what happened mm -hmm. last night. Tonight, if something happens, or if this afternoon something happens, we're going to, my agency is going to be handling things just a little bit differently. Um, we're not going to put up with bottles of water being thrown at our officers. There will be no questions, no second chances. Uh, it's just going to be a real quick van ride, a block and a half north. So, um, I will say this, and I'm going to say it, knowing that probably none of you are going to report it. Uh, but media, it would be really nice if you come down, do your shots, but don't stick around all night because that's why they're there. They're there because you're there and they really want to get national attention. That's all they want. So if you could maybe keep that in mind, that'd be greatly appreciated by uh, at least my administration and uh, all the others here today. Again, thank you all for being Good morning. Thank you all for taking a few moments out of your day to come to this very special press conference. It's a special press conference because those individuals behind me are taking their time to share with you that what we experienced last night is not Fort Wayne. We have reason to believe that a number of the agitators aren't even from Fort Wayne or Allen County itself. They came here to cause trouble. What started off as a peaceful demonstration, and I know because I witnessed it, got out of hand because a few individuals decided that they wanted to take this to the next level. 
take it to a point where you're disrupting traffic, causing traffic accidents, kicking car doors, climbing on top of cars, climbing on top of semis. That's not the way that you demonstrate peacefully in the city of Fort Wayne. I've been mayor here 13 years and I've seen a lot of demonstrations. Peaceful demonstrations, demonstrations that had a cause, that wanted to have their voice heard. My friends, last night was not Fort Wayne. What's Fort Wayne is what was happening and is happening right now over on Calhoun and Harrison Street. Citizen volunteers are over there cleaning up the mess that was made last night. That's Fort Wayne. And as the police chief and the sheriff said, we will not condone what happened last night. When you put the lives of our citizens in danger, you've drawn the line in the sand. That is not Fort Wayne. Thank you all for coming this morning to let us know that you understand that to be the kind of city that we are, to be a city that others look at as the peak and not the hill, we have got to do better. This will not happen again in our city. Thank you. Good morning, Luther Whitfield with the Fort Wayne, the Fort Wayne United Clergy Subcommittee. Um, let me just simply start off in thanking our city leaders and these incredible uh, clergy who stand with us today in regards to what is taking place in our city. Let, let me say, uh, as, a, as a black man, uh, my heart grieves with the, the Floyd family. I, I truly understand the frustration. I understand the hurt. I understand the anger, and I understand the injustice that takes place so many times and throughout the history. But what I'm also afraid of that if we condone what took place last night, then we are being unproductive. We're not being productive. We're doing a great disarm, a disservice, a disgrace to the legacy of, of the Floyd family. My hope as a man of faith that we continue to be people of grace but that yet we also speak truth. And we must speak truth when we see wrong taking place. But we must do it from a productive standpoint that brings equality to each and every one within our community. Fort Wayne has taken a hit last night. But like Fort Wayne, I do believe with all my heart that we will recover. We will bounce back. And as we continue to move forward, and having honest dialogue, I believe Fort Wayne can still be that shining city, that city of churches, and a city of peace. Thank you much. Good morning to everyone. Again, thank you for gathering. Thank you to the mayor, chief of police, and all of my brothers and sisters. My name is Pastor Robert Bell. I represent uh, the United Pastors of Fort Wayne. I also represent the District of Northern East Indiana. And I'm standing because last night was one of those wake up nights that I thought that I'd never see in my city. Calm night, very calm, watching the people express themselves about the Floyd incident. And what was so painful turned out to be a lot of problem for the rest of us. So I would like to say that on my behalf and all the pastors that I represent, we do not condone the behavior that was shown last night. We think the protesters had a right to protest. They had permission to protest. Somewhere, somehow, it got out of hand. Sad thing, there was nobody that could get it back in hand. 
So when the police had to come and do what they did, there was a lot of questions, did they do it right? Well, when you put people's life in danger, you have to realize that the law does come in. We must learn to respect authority at every level because once we stop doing that, we lose focus on what we're supposed to do. Now let me say this. They said black lives matter. I'm black. I'm not going to change it. I wouldn't bleach myself if I could. But I will say this here. We don't want people who are helping people who have the pain to cause us more pain. Let's be sure that we appreciate every individual that protested. But if we're going to protest, let's do it with dignity, integrity, and make purpose and not more problems. I pray that God would give us the strength. If they come back tonight, we don't know what's going to happen. Let us be prepared to handle it better than we did yesterday. So good morning. My name is Ira Kidley. I'm the director of uh, Portland United. And it's a bit, it's a bit hard to hear out here. My voice isn't the best voice for yelling. I'm not, I'm not a pastor like Luther Whitfield, or Pastor Bill. I can't project. So my voice is not the best voice to hear. And I think that's what we're, I think that's what's happening in our country and our community right now. Is the voices are hard to hear because of what we're seeing. And that's the issue, is that what took place is an injustice, and the voices need to be heard. But the mission is good, the message is good, the motive might be good, but the method is what the issue is. And we want the voices to be heard. The injustices that have been taking place in our country for years need to be talked about, and the voices need to be heard. Like Pastor Bell, I'm a black man, as you can see, and I'm proud of it and I love it. And so many of us love it. And we want what took place in Minneapolis to stop. And thank God it has not happened in Fort Wayne because of the leadership and because of the community that we have here that, that comes together in times like these to prevent these instances. But to everyone out there, your voices need to be heard. But they cannot be heard and they won't be heard They'll be diluted and distorted because of what we see. Our community did not deserve what we had last night. Our city did not deserve it. Our city council did not deserve it. Our pastors did not deserve it. Our children did not deserve it. My son should not have seen what they saw last night on the news. They should not have texted me and told me, Daddy, I don't want you to get hurt. Please don't go. The voices need to be heard, but what we saw last night is distorted. We want justice, but that is not justice. The solution is not burning our community and hurting the members of our community. That is not the solution. Last night we had our 10-point coalition, and so many pastors from Pastors United and Fort Wayne United last night downtown. and. At 5 o'clock, we saw a peaceful demonstration that turned. And contrary to popular belief, it was not what it looks like. And I have to stand here and be honest with you and say, our leadership, Steve Reed did everything in his, in his power. He begged our 10-point coalition to help. And when our 10-point coalition had to pull out because it got dangerous, that's when other measures took place. That's what happened behind the scenes. This community needs for us to share our voices, not our poison. These injustices need to be dealt with and talked about, but in the right way. Please, please, we beg you. We beg every last one of our city residents to please understand that the black community is hurting the African American community has watched as so many, so many men have died at the hands of law enforcement in so many other ways. It's a pandemic that we've dealt with for years already. But what cannot happen is for our city to be destroyed as a reaction. The response is for our voices to be heard. We beg you for that. Let your voices be heard in the right way.
thank you all for coming. Everybody here will be able to take questions. And we love this community, and we need this community to come together. Uh, please support our, our efforts as we try our best to keep things peaceful, as we try our best to make sure that this does not continue in our community. We ask for your support. And if you could hear my voice, it's going to be hoarse here in about a couple minutes. So please pray for us, pray for our 10-point coalition, pray for the men and women who are making decisions like our mayor, our city council members, the pastors. Just pray for our city. If you believe in prayer, we need you to pray now. Thank you so much.